Oh boy. All right. Um, it wouldn't be Jeff FM if we didn't end on something that will ruin your moods for the rest of the day. But that's only your perspective. It's how you look at it. Mike will probably be pissed that we're ending the show this way because he just wants to go back to his $4 million mansion or five, whatever he exaggerates. It goes up a million every month. Um, but yeah, uh, this was Tyler. He's been a viewer of Jeff FM for a long time. He's been viewing our vlogs. He said, even said he was a fan of Mike at one point in this video. This was real, guys. I know we do a lot of wild shit here, but uh, this was was real and I don't, I'm not good in these situations. So I just tried to be real dark and fucking nuts because I figure if you're watching us, that's why you would want me to do something like this, you know? I mean, what are you going to want me to fucking wrestle for him or something? Like I, I have no talents, but just being a sick fuck. So, I mean, just roll it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Oh, Tyler, what's going on, my man? I appreciate you watching us, and I don't know how many episodes you've seen or how much you know about me, but I heard some stuff about you, and I know your situation. I feel for you, brother. So, I have this <laughs> shotgun here, and I'm going to use it to take myself out right now. <laughs> His I'm whole family was in the room. I'm just joking. All right. I, I'll do it if you want me to, but then I'm going to hell. I just figured, you, you know, I got a dark sense of humor. And in times like this. I'm like the Joker when he went in the, in the so hospital funny, for the kids and the I gun fell out. It, man. Like you, your, your humor has gotten you so far. It's, it's, it's like crazy. And it's like not even like stand-up comedy. Thank you, I think. <laughs> I think that's a compliment. <laughs> hey, we're all only here on this planet for a short period of time. So what's the point of stressing over things, you know? Yeah. Just make the best of it. Laugh at, yeah, you know, laugh the pain off. That's how I deal with my stuff. You know, but I, I, I couldn't imagine your situation that you're in. But you're tough, brother. You're a fucking warrior. I was doing uh, jujitsu, and it's like one of the funnest things I've ever done, man. I got a staph infection from jujitsu. Uh... Antibiotics. I'm on antibiotics heavy right now. Unreal for me. I can't believe I get I'm complaining to you about about my health right now. Man, I wish I could have I wish I could have came down there. We were trying to set it up for a while, but you know Cody? Of course. Cody, come say what's up. And we have Kyle too. What's going on, bro? Yo, Tyler. Hey. How are you? Yo. I'm good, man. Good to see you, brother. How was your you guys? Yeah, well, technology we're gonna have to use. Listen, I need to share your message here and i have a voice here so i'll continue to do the best i can i'm your worst nightmare <laughs> D.O. what's that so, I'm, a de I'm a deputy oh that, really we're, we don't have a uh, any, any issue with police now we're not criminals anymore no you know but, yeah police police are cool yeah yeah thank you for your service though bro thank you really appreciate you that's coming from a former inmate you know, when I was in prison, the cops were actually cool. It was the inmates that made it hard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I really appreciate yeah. you, and um, I really admire your strength of, um, I condemned you for being so strong and holding on. I've been through a lot of struggles and tough things in my life, but just sitting there knowing that death was upon me is probably one of the hardest things, and it takes a real strong person to accept that. I really do hope there is some type of miracle, not to put any false hope out there, but just something in the universe that can make this situation turn but unfortunately this is life and these are the challenges that we come with and this is why every day is precious and it's a gift and it was a pleasure to get to have this face time with you and and i'm happy that that you know you now yeah hopefully i can make the vlog well you're gonna make the vlog now what's good yeah, you're on it <laughs> you're in the vlog <laughs> oh yeah Jeff yes, FM. You made it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love the pod, dude. Seriously, I love the pod. Thank you, man. We love you. Thank you for, you know, watching us and, and laughing with us. And look out for us. Of course. All right, man. Well, I'll let you go. I'll let you get, get some rest. It was great meeting you. And look out for tomorrow. We're going to do a pod, and um and you're in it. So welcome to Jeff FM. Can you throw a header over me? <laughs> Jeff FM. <laughs> Thank you, man. Of course. Thank you, brother. You're literally the only YouTuber I watch. Thank you. Maybe, the only one you should watch. Maybe a slight amount of Mike Nell Jack. 
Yeah, well, yeah. sorry for forcing him upon you. you know? <laughs> Nobody likes him, but he's been a good friend to me, you know, so. You got to take what you get in this town. Yeah. <laughs> you I started take watching what you Logan, get. and then that somehow transferred me to David, and then I watched David for a while, and then I was like, once you answered the vlogs, I was like, dude, this guy's so funny. Like, just little clips of you. I was like, dude, this guy's so funny. Just a little, like, stuff you'd say this on the sidelines. And then, like, when David would go on runs and shit, he's He's like skinny fat. <laughs> you call David skinny fat. I love that. I always wanted that. He's got money. He's, you know, he's just a lazy, spoiled brat. You know, he's a rich kid. He got rich at 18, so he's stunted. He's an 18 year old in a 28 year old body. And I'm going to get him. Way. I'm going to get, I'm going to, I'm going to get him one way or another. <laughs> Here, snipe him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm going to put him through a lifetime of hell. As long as I'm alive. I will be torturing that man. Do it. <laughs> and then I heard that you're uh, back on the nose or the eye surgery, right? I got another eye surgery coming up, but this isn't about me. You know, the, I think the most important thing in life, like, look, I have plaques, I have medals, I have awards. I've achieved my dreams. Yeah. Now I just want to genuinely inspire people. That's what you're doing. That's what I'm trying to do. I mean, dude, I, you inspire me. I don't want to keep you guys... I don't uh, hold you guys over, but thank you so much for for giving uh, giving me the time to meet you because you really are the the only YouTuber I watch and the only, and the only one you should be watching because yeah. the rest are all fake. I'm sorry, I'm not the Rock. I just take steroids like the Rock, but <laughs> try I love you. I love you too, brother. I love you, bro. You've you, your strength inspired me, and uh, and I'm gonna appreciate everything a lot more. When I come to heaven, I'm gonna make sure you put me in jail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll let you get some rest, bro. Hit that button so you get some more of that in your system. No morphine. Morphine. Yeah, do a couple clicks for us. Uh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you did three times. <laughs> Slow down, brother. <laughs> All right, man. All right. It was great talking to you. Thank you guys so much. Nice. Nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting you. Later, Tyler. Cheers, Kyle. Oh, That's so cool, huh? That's it. This guy. Tyler. The people you could have talked to in the world. He wanted to talk to us. No, he wanted to talk to me. You were just here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That was, that was, uh, that was crazy. That was moving. Are we back? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't get, I didn't have any context or like understand what, what exactly. So he's 26. Is. Maybe I don't even need it. Maybe no, I don't no, even no, need no. it, but it was, he, it was great that he He's did 26 that. and he, you know, he went through, he went through hell, you know? Well, what, do you know what's ailing him? Terminal cancer. He has two days. Well, I was told yesterday he had two days left. So we were talking about UFC. He likes jujitsu and stuff. And we were talking about Dustin Poirier. He wants to see a knockout. And he passed away earlier today. And he won't even get to see UFC. He won't be able to see this podcast that he's in. And that just, you know, it just makes you not think that, like, anything we're dealing with, it's all bullshit. You know, this kid was 26. He did nothing wrong to nobody. And he don't even get to watch UFC tonight. I know that's, like, the last, yeah, thing that he'd be worried about. I'm sure he's more worried about family and... <sighs> Damn. Yeah. And like, this guy never did nothing to nobody. Became a cop. Did the righteous thing. Look at us. Crime. Prison. And I did all this bad stuff and I'm still here. They you took him the, before you me. Too, say the all good, of us. The good die you too, Mike. You're not even allowed in Conne Connecticut no more. <laughs> What? His family lives there. He goes all the time. No constantly. Oh, I thought, I thought he had an order of protection from the state. No oh, okay. Damn, dude. R.I.P. Tyler. That's crazy. Well, he's 100% going to heaven. And... Well, once again, you, you can't make those calls. I can't wait to go to heaven. I, I can make no, those calls. No, you can't make those calls. Yes. Unfortunately, you can't. There's a reason why I can. He is 100% going to heaven. And he's it. there already. And he's watching down on us, watching this podcast. In fact, we love you, Tyler. His last conversation being you. Nuts, but that was his wish. No, I'm just saying. Now, if Dustin gets that knockout tonight, yeah. that was Tyler. I, it's submission, if anything. But I also think Dustin's going to lose. All right. Well, give, give some hope, bro. You know, <laughs> I want to end off the show 
with well, I mean you ended like, off the show you know, in the greatest possible way dude you did you did something nice for a human who needed it and in that moment for those 10 minutes that you spoke with him you made him feel better about his situation and there's there's all I, I, I know I was making fun of your green screen of you and Tana pointing at Ryan's dick earlier that was super creative and really intellectual but this is the important shit in life how you're making people feel when they're down how you're inspiring people to keep going when they're going through moments of, of pain or weakness in their own lives that's the shit that fucking matters that's the shit that makes me feel like I'm happy that I gave up my oiled up yeah you know some Saturday to come sit here with well you guys, I, so. I really wanted to show you that because you know I, I know you and I talk about mental problems and stuff. And yeah, it's always great to have deal, perspective. Dealing with like haters and stuff. And, like, That's not one thing I, I don't bring that up. You know, like, no, I mean, you don't care about that. Yeah, but like, you know what I mean? Like just the difficulties that we face, you, you know? You, I mean, listen, like it's not, it is it is very nice to have that perspective. It is, I, I've always said that unfortunately pain is relative and to each person their worst pain is their worst pain there's someone in the audience right now whose worst pain that they've ever felt is that their boyfriend just broke up with them that they yeah, were dating yeah, for yeah, three. You're right, and you're to right. them that is terminal cancer you know what i'm saying like pain yeah. is a very individualized subjective emotion but when you bring something like that to people visually to see it reminds you how little your fucking problems are yeah so, that, so i commend you on that jeffrey that was very nice that you did that R. and he gave Tyler. you a shout out too so you get a little clout you clout goblin you get to eat a little off that too so you were I'm sure involved I'll up, i'm sure i'll pick up a ton of followers i'm, I'm just messing around <laughs> you know I, I i pulled the gun out and said i started off yeah i don't know how i feel about that but it's it listen it was very I think you should just let me end on saying it was very nice <laughs> that you did that. Let's just leave it there, bro.